Good afternoon everyone, this is an update on the tropics for October 29th, 2022. We are talking a lot about Invest 95L today in the Caribbean that could form into Tropical Storm Lisa early this week. We are going to get right into it here as we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery and there is Invest 95L down there in the Caribbean, this is just below Dominican Republic and also Puerto Rico. Right in this general area is where Invest 95L is located. We currently also have another tropical disturbance up here and uh, right near Bermuda. And this has a much more lower chance of development. It's only about a 20% chance of development within the next five days. So we are going to be mainly watching Invest 95L, uh, which is expected to be heading in this sort of direction. Here's today's National Hurricane Center five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And as you can see, there's Invest 95L. Now they have narrowed this out to uh, showing that it is going to be headed about a west-northwest direction over the next few days. Heading a little more northward of, uh, of the northern portion of Central America, might even head towards the Yucatan. Tam Peninsula here if it does even go more northward of course we have that high pressure blocking uh, that's going to keep this southward for right now that's going to be headed into this sort of area it's only a matter of time before we know where it's going to impact directly across Central America or even the Yucatan Peninsula now this is what the National Hurricane Center noted uh, this morning and afternoon a broad area of low pressure over this Central Caribbean Sea continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms environmental conditions are forecast to be conducive for gradual development over the next few days and a tropical depression is likely to form by early next week while the disturbance moves west northwestward at 10 to 15 miles per hour over the central caribbean sea an air force reserve hurricane hunter aircraft is currently investigating the, the disturbance so that means that we could have a lot more information coming out here in the next 24 hours or so uh, regardless of development locally heavy rainfall is possible over portions of the lesser antilles the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico through this weekend. Here we are looking at the GFS model, one of the four models we're going to be looking at today for the Invest 95L. GFS model has lately, haven't, hasn't really been much development at all with Invest 95L. According to the GFS model, some of these other models have a lot more circulation, which show definitely some gradual development. GFS model doesn't really have much except a lot of broad rainfall and really not much circulation at all. Um, and as we can look at the CMC model here, do get a lot more gradual development as it goes over Jamaica. Strengthens a little bit as it goes over Jamaica there around November 1st at around 12 a.m. there. So literally right after October 31st, this could definitely be making impacts in Jamaica. Uh, this, this has a little more northward and then a little more westward right near Belize is where we could possibly see a little bit of a tropical storm strength here in early November. And this is going to be about Thursday and November 3rd is where we could possibly see a chance for a tropical storm, uh, which would be named Lisa. Uh, for right now, it's going to be mainly a tropical depression until we get more details on whether it's strengthening or not. As you can see, definitely strengthens down to 1,001 millibars. Uh, and if those winds inside and that circulation is good enough, uh, possibly a tropical storm, Lisa could be named there. So icon model here, uh, as you can see, definitely has a more development as well. Uh, pretty much kind of like the CMC model, um, but a little less weaker. Definitely circulation within that low pressure system, bringing a lot of rainfall for Belize and Honduras as well, which would lead to flooding and also mudslides uh, for those areas. So stay safe out there uh, as this goes through early November. So both icon model and CMC model definitely has had had some uh gradual development with invest 95l now as we look at the european model with this european definitely shows uh invest 95l just doesn't really have much development at all and uh this is really due to the amount of shear that is just whipping around the caribbean right now keeping a lot of these tropical waves from really not developing at all uh and all the shear typically comes in here in November. Sometimes the shear waits until November and uh, we get a few strong storms in October. 
Uh, but this October, that a lot of that shear came in early uh, and uh, really just diminished all these storms here. Uh, so this is pretty much our last chance to see a named storm, which would be Tropical Storm Lisa, I think, uh, for this season. So you still, we also still have to watch that one uh, disturbance up here as later on its lifetime, it might move into some lesser shear values, which may lead it to possibly developing into a tropical depression or even a weak tropical storm. Also have to watch that as well, but it's really no concern for land as of right now but as we look at invest 95 l close up with that satellite imagery we can see a lot of uh, scattered thunderstorm activity a lot of scattered convection on the northern side of this definitely you could see some circulation pocketing in here and uh, a lot of cloud movement heading westward uh, which would lead to some low pressure system somewhere in there definitely a very noticeable uh, low pressure system here uh, that is spinning uh, just again south of the dominican republic and haiti now, looking at the United States weather for early November here, we are going to be possibly seeing a system that might bring some severe weather around November 1st, November 5th here uh, around the central United States. This is going to be quite far out, so we might see possibly a snow system according to the GFS model uh, going throughout the northern central plains and also the Rocky Mountains. I might see some of those first snowfalls here throughout November 5th. Also, a lot of rainfall, uh, which could be good for some of these drought areas. A lot of these dry areas uh, definitely need some of this rainfall here throughout Missouri, Oklahoma. And also, throughout the Midwestern region, might see some rainfall also uh, throughout the first week of November. So, we're also going to be watching that uh, storm system as well. Right now, we are seeing a, uh, a rain system throughout today uh, through Arkansas. Now going uh, as we go throughout Halloween, uh, we might see a lot of rainfall here throughout uh, portions of the eastern half of the U.S. here, Oha Valley, and also the south might see a lot of rain on Halloween day. But as we go throughout more of those Halloween trick-or-treating hours, as you can see, a lot of this rainfall moves a lot more eastward, pretty much the entire state of Indiana. Could obviously see a lot of scattered rain showers. Mid-Atlantic also could see a lot of rain showers throughout Halloween night there. Uh, again, the northwestern coast, like always on Halloween, uh, you guys typically get a lot of rainfall as we head into this type of season here. So again, we will continue to keep you up to date on Invest 95 l Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications. You won't miss a single update on Invest 95 l uh, for especially the Caribbean and Central America. Make sure to like the video, share this with friends and family that may want the information on this upcoming storm. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.